What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan. Hi. Oh, I, I, I see what you did there. That's right. Good one, man. How's it feel? Let's get to it. <laughs> Do you remember Dr. Seuss? Green eggs and ham. Of course. You know what have gone great with those? What? Green jelly. <laughs> They are an American comedy rock band oh. from Kenmore, New York, formed in 1981. That's got to be a first on the channel. Definitely a first. So they were actually called Green Jello when this was first released. Oh. They changed its name due to legal pressure from Kraft Foods, Inc., who claimed that it was an infringement of their trademark. Boo. Boo them. The <laughs> name... <laughs> The name was chosen due to the band's poor opinion of that flavor, and they decided that it also appropriately reflected the quality of their music. Wow. So first things first, they are fully aware of who they are. <laughs> what, what are your feelings about Jell-O? I like Jell-O. Do you? Yeah, we used to make Jell-O all the time. But you, you don't like really eat it now that much, do no, you? No, not as yeah. much as I used to. It's not really something you actually seek out. It's just like when it's there, you eat like at a buffet. I think Jello always looks good. It does. It does to me too. Yeah. When it's just sitting there and it has the lights on it, you know. Yeah. Like in a buffet. That's usually when I get the most of that buffets. I like it, and I don't remember ever disliking green Jello. So. Yeah, we didn't make green Jello that often. We made more red and blue. But anytime I think of Jello, though, I I do think Chinese buffet. Yep, Chinese <laughs> buffet. <laughs> Hibachi, anything like that. Yes. And I'm just saying, the at least the Chinese buffets around here, like, can you, like, up your dessert game? If Jell-O is one of the best things over there. I like, got the we, ice cream. We need help. We we, we need help. <laughs> um, they have had hundreds of members during its existence. With vocalist Bill Manspeaker, the only consistent member throughout. Hmm. Vocalist. Man speaker. Man speaker. Is that his name? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man speaker. Uh, notable past members include Danny Carey and Maynard James Keenan, who were both in Green Jelly during the early 1990s and went on to form Tool. Ah, would you looky there? The group appeared on the Gong Show, touting themselves as the world's worst band. <laughs> the band never attempted to be good deciding instead to disguise their lack of ability with stupid props, as their liner notes put it. Uh, they've had collabs with Kiss and Hulk Hogan. Uh, huh. Uh, and their track, The Bear Song, was featured in Dumb and Dumber. So they reunited in 2008, and they're still making music. Most recent album was from 2021. So this one-hit wonder is called Three Little Pigs which uh, obviously everybody's heard that story, right? <laughs> yeah. This and all the other songs on the album were all first released on video in 1992. They all had videos accompanying the songs, and it could not be purchased in a music-only format. Because of this, the band billed itself as the world's first video-only band, even though they released an EP and some singles before the video. The video for this song features a clay animated reenactment of the fairy tale about the three little pigs. The song tells a distorted version of the classic children's story. The song peaked at number 17 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 in June 1993, staying on the listing for 20 weeks, mm. and it charted at number 5 in the U.K. It additionally reached number 1 in New Zealand for two non-consecutive weeks and charted highly in several European, European countries. So, yes, Danny Carey is on drums in this song, and uh, for Maynard, it just says that he's a guest voice. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all it says. This is from the video-only album, Serial Killer. That's spelled cereal, like the cereal you eat, mm. like that one T-shirt I have. Yeah. And it was released in 1992. So uh, let's do it. Green Jelly, Three Little Pigs. Well, he was kind of hippie, spent most of his day just a 
dreaming of the city And then one day He bought a guitar He moved to Hollywood To become a star But living on the farm He knew nothing of the city Built his house out of straw What a pity Then one day Jamming on some chords Along came the wolf Knocking on his door Little pig, little pig Let me in I'm not gonna lie though, that is very hard to do. Clay animations like that. Oh yeah, that takes yeah forever to yeah. make. That's that that. So that's pretty impressive. They they you know they did this, but <laughs> yeah, it is a trip, isn't it? It's just silly. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's just silly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, we said comedy band, right? So yeah, it's true. It only makes sense. Like they're not serious about this, you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Did you really think they thought this would be a hit? Come on, y'all. It just look. <laughs> it just look. They're. It's just being goofy. That's that's all it is. Okay. Oh. You know when I say sometimes like, turn your brain off. A lot of times I just say that for lyrics. Sometimes I say that about songs. But sometimes not only do you have to turn your brain off, you might just want to just take it out. <laughs> just. <laughs> Set it aside for a second. Just let it soak in the sun or, or something. The the video was obviously a huge draw here. Yeah, literally. Because the music sounds so uh like juvenile. Mm-hmm. But obviously it's like that's it's it's on purpose. Like th- this sounds like your first ever garage band type of thing. Mm-hmm. Man, he's just taking their stuff. Yeah, pretty he's, much. He's not that nice. He takes the guitar from the guy who loved music. And by the way, I caught that. I was like, yeah, that wasn't so subtle to me, but okay. Just straight up took it from him. And That's not very nice. That's what you do when you're the big bad wolf. He's not nice in the original. He's not nice in this one. <laughs> Just take it for what it is. Yep. It's it's entertaining. It's mm-hmm. silly. I'm 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 enjoying myself. What can I say? <laughs> little pig, little pig, whack me in. <laughs> well, I'm huffing, I'm puffing, I'll blow your house in. Huffing, puffing, blow your house in. Huffing, puffing. Oh, a third little piggy, the grade A student, his daddy was the rock star, named Pig Nugent, earned his master's degree from Harvard College, built his house from his architect knowledge, a dry level mansion, Hollywood Hills. Daddy's rock stardom paid for the bill. Then one day came the old house master, the big bad wolf, the little piggy slasher. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Well, I'm huffing, I'm puffing, I'll blow your house in. Puffing, puffing, blow your house in. I'm a big bad wolf. Well, he hopped and he popped all that he could. 
piggy's house stood It's made out of concrete The little piggy shouted The wolf just frowned As he pouted So they called 9-11 Like any piggy would They sent out Rambo Just as fast as they could Yo, wolf face I'm your worst nightmare Your ass is mine can plainly see and that's the end of the story for you and me you still give a listen you just may hear the big wolf a little piggy say little big little pig whack me in little big little pig whack me in little big little pig whack me in Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the moral of the story is that fans with no talent can easily amuse idiots with a stupid puppet show. Yeah, I seen that the other video was a different time. So I was like, maybe it cut off early. Uh, the message at the end is true, though. Yeah. That was a really stupid song, but yet I want to watch the video again. <laughs> they, they pretty much they pretty much prove that you can just throw out a nothing type of song. You know, it's, it is a familiar story, and guess what? People liked it. <laughs> Yeah. That just goes to show you, you you can appeal to way more than you think sometimes. <laughs> you just don't know. Yeah. You have no idea. And, and, you know, I'm pretty sure when they made this, they were like, this probably ain't going anywhere. We're not trying to make it go anywhere. And it went somewhere. It connected with people. I don't know. There's just something about really well-known stories or characters. And then years later, when somebody makes it into something completely different, People are like, oh, that's cool. Because I knew this story the same way for this period of time. And it, it's been like that forever. And then when somebody puts a new twist on it, it's like, oh, they just they just like that for some reason. It's it's just like these new horror these new uh Disney horror movies. It's like those are ridiculous. Like those don't need to get made. <laughs> but there's an audience for it. Yeah. Just because they want to see these characters in a different setting. So I think that's a massive appeal to this song. I mean, metal wise, like it, it, it does in a way like slightly bang just cause like the heaviness of the, the, of the riff, even though it is so raw, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that they were just trying to be silly here. And <laughs> sometimes people like silly. Sometimes they connect with it. And this was a great example of that. Yeah, it, you could just tell they just wanted to have fun and, you know, just try to create something cool. And, you know, part of them, you know, this is probably something that means a lot to them, you know, and, you know, compared to maybe other people that's seen this. Um, I was definitely amused. I was into it. I was wanting to see how it ended, you know, and how the rest of how how, you know, in I think the middle one, he did it say he had sticks, the middle pig. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear that. I don't think I think the sticks might have slipped by. Yeah, because the first one was uh, straw, right? Straw and then sticks, and then it's basically the same except uh, I don't think it was concrete. I think it was like uh, the, the brick is the original, right? Brick, brick. And this one they made it concrete. Yeah, I mean either way, it's, you ain't blowing it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I, th I give them credit because you know, like I said, for one, the clay animation is not easy to do. That's uh, I wonder, I've always loved that. Yeah, I think yeah. I thought I like you know like uh, Chicken Run. Yeah, clay that movie. And it, like, I just think that's really cool that the, the way they made. It. I like different. Like, I've always, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the cartoon music videos as well too. I've I've already, I've been, I've been that from the beginning. That it's just more entertaining and at the end, I also liked how they brought the story and they didn't like went away from it from the original Three Little Pigs. 
You know, and I also agree. I also agree with you said like whenever people see that, it's like oh, three little pigs. I know that story. Let me just listen to the song and see if it's even any kind of good. I mean, it's already yeah. the attraction right there. I mean, it, you yeah. know, you think they're, you know, you think they were having fun, but they knew what they were doing, though. You know, that's a strategic move. They're like, oh, everybody knows Three Little Pigs. So at least everybody had to at least click on it to even listen to it, just to even see if it was going to be even a good song or not, or they even just going to like it. And they ended up being, I mean, they're pretty much their best song. So, you know, I just think that, you know, they were just having fun with it. It's not my cup of tea, but, um, you know, I do uh, appreciate that, you know, the funness of it and, like, I already want to see the video again. Like, just Nick said, I, I definitely would watch that again. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to put this on my playlist or anything. But as far as just, like, every once in a while, if I want to watch some old music videos, mm -hmm. you know, because those are the best music videos, this would be in the rotation. Yeah. 100%. You know, a lot of this reminded me of Primus. And I know we've only had Primus once on the channel. But as we'll see, like, it kind of sounded like Primus. And visually, it did as well. So, and I think this was like kind of right before them, maybe. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I can see why uh, why people got that one for sure. It's you have to have the visual along with it, but yeah, again, some sometimes people they just want nonsensical <laughs> type of entertainment. I can't tell you how many times you and Ty, more Ty, <laughs> mm -hmm. have shown me videos that you guys thought were hilarious and it's ba it's basically someone doing nothing really <laughs> and i'll just be sitting there watching it like really <laughs> like oh, okay and then it just ends and ty will be like yeah they're funny <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> okay <laughs> so i can see for a lot of people they they're probably like no i i don't get it like this just isn't my type of humor but there's always some type of audience. Yep. And this one struck a chord. And I, 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 at least for me, I'm one of the ones that, that do get it. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.